Well, 2023 is well and truly underway, and as such, I thought it'd be a good time to put together a new list of incredible applications that you cannot find on the Google Play Store. These are apps that have either violated the Google Play Store's policies and so have therefore been removed, or that developers haven't even attempted to upload given that they know they'll get banned, or in some cases, the developers simply don't want their apps available on the Play Store at all due to ethical reasons. Whatever the reason, I've got 10 brand new favorites, all of which I'm sure you're gonna love. You can find links to each of the applications down in the description below. And as always, proceed with caution. But with that being said, let's dive straight in. All right, starting off the list today is Nova Launcher version eight. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't Nova Launcher already available on the Google Play Store? And yes, whilst version seven of Nova Launcher is available, version eight isn't, and for me, version eight is just about the most exciting version released since the initial launch of Nova Launcher itself. And that's because it is the very first third-party launcher to work pretty reliably without root access in conjunction with Android's gestural navigation. You see, ever since the introduction of gestural navigation, which has always been baked into the stock system launcher itself, if you wanted to use a third party launcher at the same time as gestures, then you had to put up with a pretty janky experience. Well, Nova Launcher version eight fixes that exact issue. I mean, just check out some of these animations. Now, it's still not quite as buttery smooth as using a phone's default launcher, but it's pretty dang close. And given that you still retain all of Nova Launcher's amazing customizations that we've known and loved for a very long time, then I'd say that the slight trade-off in terms of fluidity is totally worth it. Now, if you're watching this video in the future, then there's a pretty solid chance that version eight is now available on the Play Store. But until then, this app definitely deserves a place on this list. Following that is AdSkip, and this is somewhat similar to a previous app I featured on the channel a few years back called Skip Ads, but there are two key reasons that make AdSkip a superior choice. But firstly, in terms of the app's core functionality, essentially, if you're not a YouTube Premium user, then with this app activated, anytime you see one of those Skip Ad buttons before or during a YouTube video, this app will essentially just automatically press it for you, which is great for hands-free viewing. But then on top of that, this app also adds the extra functionality of automatically muting any ads that play as well. And it'll then raise the volume back up once the ads have been skipped. And this is such a handy feature. And then add on to that, that the old Skip Ads app has become somewhat unstable on recent versions of Android, whereas AdSkip works much more reliably in my experience. And you've got yourself a pretty great alternative. After that is Revanced Manager, which is a super helpful app that makes installing the Revanced YouTube app a much simpler process. A few months ago, if you wanted to use the new version of Vanced YouTube called Revanced, then the safest way to do so was to build your own APK using the source code files found on GitHub. But with Revanced Manager, you just open the app, tap here where it says Patcher, then tap Select Application. Then select from the list of apps, so let's say YouTube as an example, then tap on select patches and enable any of these patches you'd like to add to the app you're modifying. Then you tap on patch, tap yes, and then you let the app do its thing. Once complete, you hit install, and there you go. Your very own modded version of YouTube is now installed. Simple as that. And speaking of patch manager style applications, X Manager is an app somewhat similar to Revance Manager, but for modded versions of Spotify instead. You've essentially got three modded versions of Spotify to choose from. Spotify Regular, which unlocks an ad-free version of Spotify with unlimited skips and play on demand. Then Spotify AMOLED, which is the exact same, but in an AMOLED black theme. And then finally, Spotify Lite, which prioritizes a more lightweight experience than the two aforementioned options. Once you've picked your flavor of choice, you just tap the drop down arrow, select the version that suits your device, which for mine is this ARM64 option. So I'll tap that, then I'll tap on download. And once that is complete, I can now tap on install, then follow the system prompts to install the app. And once all is said and done, I've got my own modded version of Spotify installed and ready to go, easy as you like. But if you're instead interested in an app for playing just the media stored locally on your phone, then Room is a fairly new application that gives you this very functionality, but with an outrageously unique approach. You see, on the main screen here, Room will present to you all of the media stored on your phone, but in a TikTok-like interface. 
You can even like specific videos and swipe through them exactly how it works on TikTok. And by default, the app will even present the videos to you randomly like your own curated feed. Now, the developer of this app did actually reach out and let me know that the app currently isn't published on the Play Store due to issues with creating a developer account, but they are planning to publish it soon. So again, if you're watching this video in the future, then there's a chance it is now actually available. But speaking of apps not available on the Play Store, if you've ever wanted to take a website and transform it into an app that is available on the Play Store or even the Apple App Store, then look no further than today's video sponsor, at my site, which is a platform that makes the process outrageously simple. You just sign up to at my site, enter your website's URL, and once at my site has analyzed everything, you can then dive in and make as many changes as you like. This includes changing the app icon, making tweaks to the splash screen and login page, adjusting the colors and icons found on the bottom bar, as well as the actual content within the app. Plus there's a heap of other changes you can make as well. Once you're finished, you can then use the App My Site application to preview the app on your own phone. And I think the results speak for themselves. And in fact, this fashion app that you've been seeing throughout was actually an app I made on App My Site in under five minutes. But what's really cool is that once you're happy with the finished product, App My Site will then actually go a step further by helping you to publish your app either on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store or even both. It is truly an incredible tool. So if you want to try out at my site, then you can do so using the first link down in the description below. All right, next up on the list is anything to picture in picture. And this is actually an app I featured quite some time ago on the channel that was initially available on the Play Store, but sadly it has since been removed. Now, as for what the app actually does, well, in short, it'll let you view any content stored on your phone in that little picture in picture window. You can either select your image or video from within the app or select the show in picture in picture option via the share sheet within your gallery of choice. But then from there, your selected media will show in this little picture in picture window as described. And unlike some other apps that offer a similar floating window functionality, this one actually uses your system picture in picture mode, meaning it's super fluid and behaves really, really well. But I reckon that may very well be the reason that it's no longer available on the Play Store. Who really knows though? And then we have CamCov, which is a super fun app that aims to make using your phone while you're walking anywhere a much safer process. And the way it does this is by placing a transparent overlay of your phone's cameras over your phone's normal content. This means you can get a solid view of whatever is in front of your phone, even whilst you continue using your phone as per usual. You can also use the app to change how transparent the overlay is, and you can also adjust the X and Y axis rotation. But aside from that, it's a pretty cool app that works actually super reliably. Private Location is a beautifully simple app that allows you to quickly and easily spoof your phone's location. You just open the app, find the location you wanna spoof, and then you tap on Set Location. With that done, your phone and any apps installed on your phone will now think that you are located in that newly set location. This is great for maintaining privacy and you can even set the app to randomize your location at different time intervals for an even stronger level of privacy. You can also favorite any locations for easy access and set it to automatically start whenever your phone boots up. So a pretty handy and well-designed app for faking your phone's location. All right, second to last today is Seal. And this is a really well-designed application that allows you to download video and audio files from a huge range of supported platforms. You just paste your link here, then tap on download. And from there, you'll get a range of customizations that you can make, such as downloading the content as just audio and even changing the video format and quality. But once you're happy with the settings, you just tap on download. That'll then open up this page here, which will present you with the specific formats that are actually available for your selected content. And once you're happy, you can then tap on download again, and that'll officially start the downloading process. After that, you can simply tap to view your downloaded content, or you can even tap here to view any previously downloaded content and sort them into various categories. And so finally today, we have Volume Scheduler Pro, which is another app I've already featured on the channel in the past that has since been removed from the Play Store. But in short, this is a super powerful app that you can use to essentially hack your phone's system volume. With the app installed and activated, you simply set up schedules as you need them. And within each schedule, you can customize virtually every aspect of your system volume. 
With your profiles activated, your phone will then change them automatically for you in the background, and it works really, really well. And honestly, I don't really know why this is no longer available on the Play Store, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's just probably because the developer decided not to support it anymore. But that's it, 10 amazing applications that as of today, you cannot and will not find on the Google Play Store. If you yourself have any other recommendations for apps that you love that also can't be found on the Play Store, then hit us up with a comment down below and who knows, maybe they'll make it into a future episode. Oh, and if you want the full list of secret apps that I've featured across the various episodes of this series in one easy to browse location, then you should definitely check out my application shelf, which was recently updated with each of the secret apps featured within this series. I'll leave a link to where you can download that below. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.